That's on live shrimp. Yeah. That's freelining live shrimp right there. We're gonna let this guy go. What's up everybody? Bonnie here, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be showing you three methods I use when fishing with live shrimp. The very first one is one of my favorites, it's freelining. I've caught a lot of fish just freelining shrimp, whether it be shrimp, a little bait fish, greenbacks, mullet, pinfish, pigfish, whatever. Now the second method is using a jig head like this one here. It's very effective, it's very similar to uh, a Carolina rig. I typically like to cast this out there uh, with the shrimp on there of course and just drag it along the bottom, just kind of like reel it and you can pick up flounder fishing that way too. The very last method is the Carolina rig one of my favorites as well when fishing for mangrove snapper. It'll work for just about anything really, man. But I like to use the Carolina rig underneath like docks, like this here, like the boat docks, especially when that tide is like moving. All right, let's get to it. Mangrove snapper. That's a keeper there. That's a nice one. He's probably 11 inches there on the smallest shrimp. Ooh, he is powerful. Hopefully he doesn't chomp me. That's on live shrimp. That's freelining live shrimp right there. We're gonna let this guy go. We're gonna throw another bait down there. We are gonna be casting this guy up current and letting them drift naturally along the current. You don't have to cast it out far, just cast it up current, like maybe like 10 feet out, and then just let them drift. Give them a lot of slack so they can sink down to the bottom. And just wait for the bite. You'll feel the bite when, the, when these fish hit it, especially snapper. There's another one, this guy's small though. Let me show you guys how I hook my shrimp. I'm just hooking these guys right under the horn like so so he stays alive a lot longer either through its head like that underneath the horn or through its tail right around there all right guys so this is my favorite type of fishing right here free lining it's just more natural to me and I seem to catch uh, better fish quality more quality size fish free lining but you can also catch them with using weights, you know, Carolina rig, or using a jig head. I personally like free lining. It's a better fish right there. It's a better mangrove. It's a keeper. It's definitely a keeper. It's a good size, it's probably 11 inches there. See ya. That is why freelining is so effective, man. It's such a natural presentation. But the thing is with freelining, you gotta go like really light because you have no weights. You're not casting with any weight. So I like to use 20 pound uh, leader, 10 pound uh, braid. That should be able to do it. There's another mango. He's probably nine and a half. Here's another way you can fish with live shrimp. This way is a quarter ounce Z-Man Trout Eye Jig Head. The way I like to hook the shrimp with the jig head is through its tail, like so. Just let him drag along the bottom, along the current, and wait for the strike. Let's see how well it does though. Cast it up current. Let it sink all the way down to the bottom. I'm fishing quarter ounce because the water is barely moving and I don't need much to, to get the, uh, the bait down to the bottom, so quarter ounce should be fine. Just wait for the bite, man. Let's throw another guy down there and see if we can land a fish with the, uh, with the jig head. Little dink. That's the uh, July shrimp right there. Because he's gonna get crunched right now. Little guy. There's some nice ones down there too. You can see them, but this guy is super tiny. See ya, dude. 
another one, little dinker. But that's how you catch saltwater fish, using live shrimp. Of course, you gotta find where the fish are first. That's very important, finding where the fish are. If there's bait, there's gonna be predator fish like mangrove snapper, um, snook, flounder. Anyways, that's how you fish with uh, a jig head. Now let's move on to fishing with Carolina rig. All right guys, on to the last method. This right here is a Carolina rig, one of my favorites as well. What you have first is your weight. I'm running a half ounce weight right here. And at the end of the weight, we got the swivel and a foot of leader and your hook. I like to hook it through its head, or underneath the horn. So, oh, oh man, he's not happy. Underneath the horn, just like so. We're just gonna drop him underneath the dock here. Oh, man, that was a good bite. Just gonna cast it underneath. There it is. That's on the Carolina rig, man. Simple rig, guys. Very simple rig. It works very effectively. Good thing that hook didn't go all the way through. Definitely got me though. You can also use Carolina rig for, uh, for sheep's head as well. Using live fillet crabs. Just toss it underneath the, uh, the docks like this here or just uh, along the pilings and you'll get yourself some sheep's head. But make sure you use crab because crab is the best bait for sheep's head in my opinion. Oh my God, look at this toadfish. Toadfish has been eating good. <laughs> Look at that thing, man. That's huge. That's, that's like the biggest toadfish I've ever caught in my life. Let's get this guy released. Over here. He's crazy looking, man. <laughs> See ya. Oh my god, tiny. Super tiny, man. There's another one there. It's a, a snapper. Mangrove snapper. Yeah. Ooh. That was close. Oh, there it is. Oh, dang it. There it is. Little dink mango. All right, guys, that's a wrap for me, man. Each technique has its own place. For example, if you're fishing live shrimp, typically you want to fish waist deep water uh, on the flats or docks like this here. Now for the other two methods, Carolina rig and uh, fishing with jig heads, you want to fish five to 10 feet deep or out in the bay for a mangrove snapper or a gag grouper. You can apply these techniques to just about any fish in the bay. If you guys have any tips or techniques, please leave them in the comment section down below so we can all learn a thing or two from one another. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.